Welcome to another episode of Lineman Talk. Today we're going to talk about the Hubble Versatech Recloser. We're going to try to answer some of the common questions that we have about how this battery operated or battery equipped electronic recloser serves us as opposed to an oil circuit recloser. You'll see that I have the battery out right now. There is no battery supply. We're going to be passing a fault through the Versatech and we're gonna see how it reacts with no battery support, like the battery was dead. First, we'll make sure we've got all of our safety equipment on because what comes first when we're dealing with Versatex? Safety. So we'll put on our small rubber gloves because the AC welder will be delivering AC voltage to the Versatech and the body of the Versatech will be energized while we're delivering these fault currents. With no battery, no DC power source, the capacitor in the Versatech drove the recloser through the fault to all four standard operations. We have it set for four trips to lockout. So it did its job with no battery. Now we're gonna to try to reclose the unit with no battery. There is no power supply active. The welder is turned off. We can hear the baby mechanical click, but we're not hearing the bottle. Pull the breaker open. We're going to install a battery. This battery's tested. Now we're going to close the Versatech with a battery reclose. You heard it close. Now we're going to send a fault to it. The settings we have in this Versatech are similar to a 50 amp hydraulic. We trip out at 100 amps. We have fast curves and slow curves. And you could hear the fast curves and then you watched until the yellow handle fell open. During the operations, the yellow handle does not fall. The yellow handle does not fall until the cycle is complete. We have a non-reclose hotline tag handle. On this one, we have a hook stick adapter attached. You can see I've written normal reclosing. There's been some confusion about what this looks like from the ground. When it's back over here on the right hand side, it's in normal, normal reclosing. When we bring it down, following this arrow, we're going to non-reclose. <clears throat> now there's some software differences between some Versatec 1s and Versatec 2s that if we are in the non-reclose position or hotline tag, one stroke down, normal uh, non-reclose, two stroke down, we have uh, enabled for hotline tag. So we've done one stroke down and we think we're in non-reclose. Now we're gonna see if we can close the breaker. In this model, the breaker closed while it was on non-reclose. No Versatec 2s will close if the red handle is down. Some Versatec 1s may believe they're in hotline tag and they will not close. So right now we are closed. We heard the device close. We, the other yellow handle's up. We believe the device is closed. We're gonna do some extensive battery maintenance on our Versatech system. And 
we will be removing the old Versatec battery and installing a new Versatec battery. And all of that can be done with a stick. I'm gonna use my hands here, rubber gloved hands, but it can be done with a stick while the device is energized and nothing will happen. We're gonna remove the battery. The breaker did not open. The breaker did not operate. We'll put the battery, new battery, back in the hole. We're going to cycle through one more time. Okay, we have the welder off. We have our test lead disconnected. I'll remove my rubber gloves. The last thing that we want to touch base on is one of the reasons that we use this VersaTech recloser <clears throat> is because it records a lot of data. Everything we've done today, including this manual close, is recorded. We can see all the fault currents, we can see all the uh, operations we can see the times and the curves we can change settings on the fly we can drive up connect with wi-fi change the settings we're not taking reclosers down and putting reclosers up this one model will replace 60 reclosers on the dock for all the sizes and types and curves that we use in ocrs this VersaTech has more options to meet size, type, curve, amp interrupting currents. But the sequence of event log is one of the reasons that we want this because as we're chasing temporary faults or wire down, a half a dozen other things, we can go through the event log and find out what exactly happened. Now, years ago, this was created. This is a sheet that step-by-step step offers us the instructions on how to access Wi-Fi and then get inside the recloser and pull the event logs on Versatec 1s and Versatec 2s. The instructions are fairly simple. You do need to have an app on your company provided telephone. And with that app, and we have two options and these are covered in the instructions. If there is a good line current above 10 amps, we don't even need to get out of the truck. Access it with our telephone, pull all the event logs. If it's below 10 amps, like we were on a 14.4 line or a lightly loaded line, we'll probably have to operate the battery Bring the battery in. The battery will give us a certain amount of time, five or six minutes, to access the recloser, pull the event logs, and create a report. And that report comes in a PDF. You can share it with anybody. It has all the data for that recloser, all the settings, all the events, any notes that you put in about battery date, who put it in, what firmware you're working off of, all of that is inside this recloser. <clears throat> this is one that we had uh, retired. This one is probably a <clears throat> 2019 model. We've been using Versatex here since 2009. We probably have 150 Versatex on the line now spread from Quero to Shirts on 7200 volts, 14.4. We have them in single phase, two phase, three phase 
assemblies where we have a three-phase line and we chose not to put a Form 6 there. Uh, we have good operating history. We will be replacing all the batteries and upgrading firmware this year. <clears throat> so I'm sure you could still have some questions. Remember, this is one of the things that we get confused about, about what position are we in right now? Right now, we're in non-reclose. That's what normal reclose looks like. So I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for visiting. And uh, I'll see you next time on Lyman Talk.